Hi everyone, this is Miss Willis and I'm here to go through Raz Kids with you. Um, this is for Miss Willis and Miss Linebox class, so hopefully this will help some of you that might be having trouble. Um, when you go to the Raz Kids site, you go to www.razkids.com and then your children will log in where it says Kids Log In. So let's do that. My computer's going to take forever. Now, when you see the teacher username, I, I don't know Miss Linebox username, but kids in my classroom are going to type Shelby Willis. That's my username. Uh, Miss Linebox class, yours came with your paper that she sent home. And you're going to push go. When your child gets to this screen, they're going to choose their name, and then they're going to put in their password that was sent home with you. Um, their password is their student number, so everybody's is different. I'm going to pick my little icon so I can show you what I like the kids to do. All right, when they go on every night, we ask that they listen to and read one book. So they're going to click on reading assignment. And you can see I've used this in the past, so it's got lots of checks. You need to find a book that doesn't have a check, like, for example, Little. The first thing they're going to do is listen to it. And we've had some parents say, oh, my children are looking at the pictures before they listen to the book. And that's okay. That's a pre-reading skill. We call that taking a picture walk. So that's a good thing, not a bad thing. So they're going to click on the ear first. And they're going to listen to the story first. So they would just push next. And they have to keep pushing next on each page. All right, and then they're finished with the book, so they're going to push the home. That's going to take them back to the beginning page where we started. Now, um, when they read it, if you want to push record and record your child and you have access to a microphone, that's great. Um, we, don't, we don't require that from the kids, but if you want to do it, then you can. Just make sure that when they're recording that someone is close by helping them so that they're not making up words or putting crazy words in that aren't really there. This is really a parent-child assignment. It's definitely not something you can just sit your child at a computer and walk off. You really need to sit there with them. It takes like five minutes, really. So, The next thing they do is they push the, uh, the little I, and then they're reading this time. A. Now, if they can't remember the word little, they can click on it. And it will, anything that's underlined, they'll be able to click on. But encourage them to try to figure it out first. A little house. A little dog. A little car. And again, encourage them to say that beginning sound. That might help them use the picture. We call that using your eagle eye. Or using the beginning sound, we call that using your lips, the fish. And that will help them begin to start to figure out words that they don't necessarily know, but they can use the picture. A little plane. A lot of kids will say airplane, and I'll point out p p plane. It starts with a p, not an e e. And then they start to look at those beginning sounds. A little tree. A little bug. A little mouse. A little baby. And that's the end of Little. Now, when they've listened to and read one story, they're done for the night. That's their completion of their Raz Kids portion of their homework. If they would like to go in to um, 
the other section and and build on their oh sorry lost you if they would like to go into that other section and build on their ras rocket then they're welcome to do that we're we're fine with that but make sure that they're doing that after they've listened to and read one book so i'll show you what that looks like that's a place where they can go spend the points that they're earning for reading and miss blindlock and i have the ability to give them points also um, a lot of times the first time they log in i've given them 500 points right away um, and they really like to go in and do this but if again if you just leave them and that's not the right place if you just leave them sitting at a computer i can guarantee they're going to be in their plane on their uh, RAS rocket and they're not going to be reading at all. So if they go into the star zone, then they can either robot build or build their RAS rocket. So make sure that they're doing their reading first before they do that. A lot of kids will log in, but it shows me on my printout if they've read, listened to and read a story or if they just played on their RAS rocket. I don't give them credit for that. Um, and I do require that they do one book four times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, if there's school all four of those days. And that's how they get to be a homework hero. That's one of the requirements in their homework. Hope everybody enjoys this program and uses it. Um, and hey, everybody have a good night. Thanks.